Scott Damber doing a review on the DSC 601 electronic pipe, which I received from www.thevaporstore.ie. Before I start, I must point out I did receive a free of charge for the purpose of conducting a review. My opinion on the product made true, honest, and accurate, as always. Okay, so let's go straight ahead and uh, show you what's in the box. Okay, so the 601 pipe comes in a uh, very large presentation box. If you lift off the uh, lid and lift this section up, you get presented with a user manual and you get a, uh, a fully assembled 601 pipe, you get a spare mouthpiece, you get three cartridges uh, which are low, medium and high nicotine strength and they are actually very large cartridges. Uh, you get two 900 milliamp hour batteries and you get a, uh, a charger for the batteries as well. They also did it also include a um, like an adapter for the charger. Okay, so I'll go ahead and uh, uh, assemble the pipe so you can see in a bit more detail. Okay, so the actual main sort of part of the uh, uh, the pipe, you have your battery section here, and this section here will be where the mouthpiece and the cartridge slot into. Now, this section is obviously like the main part of the pipe, and the atomizer is built into it. So when the atomizer dies, you will need to replace the whole thing. Uh, and they are sort of fairly expensive, but... Um, from what obviously I've had this one for about a week now, uh, but from what I can gather on the forums and that, you know, the atomizers do last uh, quite a considerable amount of time, so um, it's not as bad as what it actually seems. Okay, so the battery, which is a uh, an eighteen three fifty battery, and it's a nine hundred milliamp hour battery, three point seven volts. Uh, you insert the negative end in first, and if you notice here, you've got like a little catch. Just got to make sure that's over there. Push that in, and then you've got to press it down with one finger and then just slide that little catch over. It's a little bit fiddly. I should be able to get it it's done. And that's it. So it's in place now. So it actually holds the, uh, the battery in place. Then you've got an LED cap, which then goes on the top there. Now the LED cap hasn't got any sort of little grooves or notches or anything like that, so it can be a little bit fiddly to undo. So what I do is I just do it just so it bites, and then you can literally just two fingers just unscrew it again quite easily. You get your uh, the cartridge, like I said, they are very big cartridges and they hold a lot of juice in there. And uh, if you look down there, you can see there's sort of two little metal prongs there, and that has to line up with the flat side of the cartridge. It won't go in any other way. That just slides in there, and then the mouthpiece goes on top and clicks into place. And that is the uh, complete pipe. And it's a, uh, for me personally, I think it's an uh, extremely realistic, uh, realistic looking device. Uh, when you inhale, this obviously uh, lights up red. This is probably the only sort of unrealistic part about it. And obviously they've got, they've got to put something there. Um, <clears throat> so that's, it's a shame really, but apart from that, you know, it looks absolutely uh, just like a real uh, traditional tobacco pipe. Okay, so let's go and see what it vapes like then. Okay, so that is the uh, DSC 601 electronic pipe. So what I do now is I put in a, a fresh cartridge and show what it vapes like. Uh, so um, they only come with the uh, the three cartridges, but they are very large cartridges and they really do last a, a long time. The one I've got left is the uh, medium strength one. So I'm just going to quickly bang that in. One second. And as you can see, that reduces a really nice amount of vapour. Uh, the flavour of the uh, uh, the cartridge, it's a, it's a really nice flavour actually. It's, um, it's, it's obviously like a like smoky uh, sort of taste to it. And it's a really sort of, um, what I would describe as a quite a strong sort of woody sort of tobacco flavour. Uh, it leaves a like, really nice feeling in your mouth after you sort of finish vaping on it. And uh, I can't honestly say how it tastes exactly like a pipe because I've, I've, as far as I can remember, I don't think I've ever actually tried a real tobacco pipe in my life. So, um, but it's what I would imagine a pipe would uh, taste like. Because obviously, you know, you've got the uh, uh, a real pipe that has, a, like, as far as I'm aware, again, like a wooden bowl. And I can imagine that the uh, tobacco mixing in with the uh, sort of like the like the the wood of the actual pipe would give you a quite a sort of like a woody sort of tobacco flavour. And that's pretty much exactly what I'm getting here.
Now, I know obviously, um, whenever I do like a review on like a pipe or cigar, you know, I always get people right to me. So you do realise, Scotty, that you're not meant to inhale the uh, the vapour if it's like a pipe or cigar. And obviously, I'm aware of that. It's just that you know, I still like to uh, inhale it anyway. But be quite with one of these. You know, it is just actually really nice, just to sort of puff on it and um, and enjoy the flavour of it because it really is. Uh, it's got the atomizer. It really does bring out the flavours of the liquids really nicely. I mean, like recently, I've been vaping some uh, really nice cigar and French pipe uh, e-liquid, and I've been uh, sitting, sitting in the evenings quite happily, sort of uh, puffing away on it. Yeah, throw hit. It's, I wouldn't say it's got a um, a particularly strong throw hit uh, when you're in the how. Um, you know, I'm I'm getting that kick in the back of my throat. There's no doubt about it. But compared to like a like a sort of a standard uh, electronic cigarette, I do find I'm getting a uh, a bit more of a kick out of it there. And when not when using a uh, like a, a more sort of standard electronic cigarette. Uh, but nevertheless, so you are still getting that sort of like a, that little sort of thump in the throat, which I like. The uh, battery life on it is uh, is excellent. It comes with those 900 milliamp hour batteries. There's loads of vaping time now. And um, you know, I've been sitting here in the evenings. I've, I've got to be honest. I'm not going to walk down the high street with a pipe like this. You know, it's just um, not the sort of thing that I'll do. But like for when I'm inside the house, you know, sitting here in the evenings, I've been puffing away and it's sort of quite happily. And it's been lasting me, say. I would have thought like at least sort of like four evenings worth of vaping out of it before I had to sort of recharge the battery again. And um, for me, that's that's pretty damn good, really. I'm quite happy to sort of sit here and sort of vape in the evening on this. And uh, you know, obviously, if I'm getting four days worth of it or four evenings worth of vaping time out of it, then that's great. Uh, you know, even if you're sort of really caning it, you know, sort of vaping it constantly, that 900 milliamp hour battery is still going to last you. I would have thought even a heavy vapor, you should should uh, still get like at least a four days worth of vaping out of it. The switch on it is um, very nice and responsive, and I've literally not got to do hardly any uh, sort of hardly inhale at all to better get it to activate. I don't know if you can see the actual light. No, it's just really nice to sort of just take some nice sort of very, very uh, relaxed inhales off it, and it works perfectly every time. I'm not too sure if it has actually got a uh, like a cut off or not. I mean, like I've tried to sort of um, get it to activate a cut off, but I must have inhaled like earlier on today. Uh, I would have thought for at least sort of 10 seconds and I still didn't get no sort of cut off there at all so I'm going to assume it hasn't got one but there, there might well be a cut off on it but um, like you're not going to be taking longer than 10 second drags on this anyway. No, overall, it's a very nice pipe. Um, I'd say it is extremely realistic. Obviously, apart from the actual sort of LED cap there, you know, if you didn't have that on it, like, you wouldn't know it wasn't a real pipe. Well, personally, I wouldn't anyway, you know, and uh, it's got that sort of, again, I've never actually held a real pipe, but it's, imagine, I can imagine it's what it would feel like uh, to hold the, uh, a real pipe. And uh, obviously, you get a really nice amount of vapour out of it, plenty of flavour. I'm sure if obviously, it's not going to sort of suit everybody out there, especially like maybe sort of younger people who vape, but. You know, if there's a, uh, you know, somebody who does smoke a pipe, or if you are a pipe smoking yourself and you want to sort of cut out tobacco, uh, I think you'd have to sort of be uh, overjoyed with something like this. So I'll get onto the scores in. Uh, for the uh, looks, um, apart from the LED cap, you can't really fault it. It's a very nice looking pipe, you know, and um, feels very well made. It just feels really nice. Uh, not too heavy, you've got a little bit of weight to it. But, you know, I'd quite happily give the looks a, uh, I'll give the looks an 8 out of 10. 
for the uh, vapor production. I think it's you know you get a really nice amount of vapor. I'll give that an eight out of ten. Uh, throw here, I'm going to knock that down quite a bit because I do personally find it quite mild, and I'm going to give that a six out of ten. Uh, for the uh, battery life, battery life is excellent. That's going to be a nine out of ten. And uh, for the switch performance, you know the switch uh, works really well. Uh, no. You know, hardly takes any effort to sort of activate it at all, so I'll give that, a, uh, I'll give that an 8 out of 10. Uh, you know, overall, though, I highly recommend it. If you fancy getting one of these, go along to www.thevaporstore.ie. Uh, okay, thank you very much for watching, and also come along and visit my website at www.esigreviews.com. That's e-sig-reviews.com. Cheers, guys. Happy vaping. See you later.